Uh, well, thank you for joining us. Give it up for uh, Brad Dorff. Uh, So nice. And both, all three of us. Yeah, well, all three of you, but both of you, because oh, you share a like bloodline. Yes, family. yes, exactly. <laughs> You're all a family. Yeah. Where, where's Devin Sawa? Um, Who is also, I believe, in the Chucky franchise. Yeah. 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 Better places to be? Where I believe is he? he is. Death finally wow. caught up to him from Final Destination. <laughs> <laughs> At this, yeah, he was walking and he tripped and it was a whole thing. <laughs> Which is to be expected here. Um, uh, let's let's start on that. What is it like for you two to be able to work? To, I mean, I'm sure you grew up on these movies quite literally. So what is it now to be in this? Yeah, well, the whole the whole thing feels. <laughs> I've been saying this for ten years now, but it still feels kind of surreal. Um, it just feels like winning some kind of lottery that keeps paying off. So we get to <laughs> we get to make these movies, which are absurdly fun, and then all these people like them. Yeah, uh, and that would be you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the whole the whole thing the whole thing feels um, feels like wild and kind of lucky. You know, yeah. I just feel sort of lucky. Yeah, and he's a he's a he's a good dad. So, uh, the first time I think that, you know, it started out when Fiona was too young to remember, uh, but uh, her first exposure to Chucky, but I was um, doing the first one, and I do, do the voice mainly, and um, at the end I do ADR, which is to put all the sounds that when Chucky isn't talking on the, um, on, uh, you know, and there's, in the first one, Chucky spends an enormous amount of time burning to death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like running around, and um, you know, I had like maybe three of those in me, mm -hmm. um, of screaming and yelling in agony, like I am really, really dying. I mean, you know, like going like. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, green light stuff, <laughs> and I'm screaming like I'm in agony, and poor little Fiona is in the booth, and she freaks out, because it sounds like I'm dying. Also, and why was I in the booth? <laughs> I don't know why you're in the booth. Somebody took you in the booth. I was working. You know, so, so and she takes off and goes running out of the out of the place, and they tell me, you know, your daughter was in the booth, and we don't know where she is. <laughs> and so I I go, Kara, I said, you know, Fiona, I'm fine. I'm maybe a little hoarse, but I'm fine. And um, and maybe you should sit this next one out, you know, <laughs> and don't worry about me. And she saw I was fine, and 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 that and that was her first exposure hey, to Chucky. I don't know if I fabricated this memory or not, but was I at the premiere in 88? Yes. Also good parenting. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're really working some family stuff out on the stage today. You did not see the movie. I didn't see the movie. No. No, I did, it just was there. You were just there. Okay. Do you remember what age you did when you did see the movie? Uh, I hate to admit this to you guys, but I, I get too scared in horror movies. <laughs> I, do too. I Yeah, he's way worse than me. You should see him try to watch a horror movie. He he paces in the back of the theater and then leaves and talks to himself. Like, <laughs> like he shouldn't have done that to that girl. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think I probably saw it when I was, I don't know, like uh, maybe 10 or 11. I had an yeah. evil older sister who used to make me watch Yeah, movies. her older sister loved, I, I you know, had a strict rule that the, no one watches anything until they're of age. And so when her sister was 14, I said, okay, you can pick whatever you want. We went to the store and she picked out the movie she wanted to see, which was the horrible, slasher <laughs> kind of thing. And I watched about five minutes with her because I was trying to be a good dad and then I was not possible anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I left and I came back at the end and she was sitting watching the titles because she was very interested in who did the makeup 
And it suddenly dawned on me, this kid has been watching horror films for years. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the kids did as they pleased. We were all kind of blown up. I mean, it's so surreal to have you play your own dad. Uh, and uh, there was a video that went viral of the kind of complete transformation. But what is that like? For you, like personally, because it's mind blowing. Yeah, for us. yeah. I um, I actually didn't really think about it. when they told me they were gonna do it. Uh, it was because Don Mancini is a close friend in the family. He was like, I think you, I think it will work because this part of our face is the same, and I have his laugh, which is my actual laugh. He was like, Oh, you kind of sound like Chucky. When you laugh, which sucks as a real life. Um, everybody knows how everybody's yawning. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> anyway, I live uh, by your table. That's and then you actually have this horror, like guffaw cackle you can hear from miles away. But anyway, uh, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be a thing. And then it takes four and a half hours to do. And I looked in the mirror in hour three uh, and was pretty disturbed <laughs> in ways that like I that I just wasn't expecting. I, I think as you get older, genetics kind of take over a little bit more, and you start like acting like a parent. And I don't know if you guys have ever had that. You've noticed that anyway. You're like, why do I think like my mom in a way like I didn't want to? But anyway, just to have his face fucking professionally, <laughs> and I couldn't get it off. Uh, and, Anyway, I like I had quit smoking. I went out and smoked a cigarette, and I realized I was like, okay, it's it's weirder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I um I was doing ADR, which is you know what I was explaining before, and um, I saw uh, and I was going to do you know this this scene, and I saw me um, <laughs> leaning against the and I went, I, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> and um, and then I, uh, you know, I got jealous a little bit because I thought uh, Charles Lee Ray was better than mine. <laughs> and uh, I got over it quick. I said, well, I might as well be proud. I am her father. <laughs> and um, and uh, um, but then I had to loop her. I had to do her voice because the studio felt that they wanted her. It gets confusing. They wanted her as Charles Lee Ray to sound like me, so and then her as Nika Chucky, Chucky yeah. to sound like her sounding like Chucky. <laughs> Are you all following this? <laughs> so, um, so that's uh, that's what. So I had to ADR all of her. And some of it was kind of sad because I really liked what she did. Oh, thanks, Pop. And you know, there's some things you can do that um, that. And then there's some things that other people do that you can't do, and it was always sad to lose that. But we tried. Well, you're doing well. You're doing well. Uh, Dale, I want to know what it was like, because I think Chucky is interesting, because it's a lot of people's kind of gateway into horror. There's, you know, it's it's focused on kids. He's, he's a doll. Um, a lot of us saw it at way too young of an age. But for you, what was it like, and as a kid, like kind of coming into this franchise? Um, well, the thing is, when I first got the role, I didn't exactly know how big Chucky was. Because I, I had never actually seen any of the Chucky movies before I got the job. So oh, then when I got the job, then I started watching. <laughs> I started Just watching. means your parents did something I, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas ours scarred us for life. Yeah, when I, when I got the, the, the job, I started watching the movies. And then, like, when it was all announced, I started, you know, getting a bunch of followers on Instagram. People were saying, oh my god, I've been a fan of Chucky since, like, I was a tiny kid. And I started realizing just how important this franchise is yeah. to so many people. I'm sure that it's really important to all of you guys. And, and, and doing things like cons, it, it's, it feels so good to be able to... I, I don't know, it just feels good to be able to meet all of you who this is just such a big part of all of your guys' lives, and it, it means so much to you. And it, it means so much to me that I that we get to you know meet you guys and, and sign your autographs and take pictures with you because I don't know, yeah it's just it's, it's been so wonderful. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really the whole community as a whole is so special.
so many people that I think have felt othered in their life and, and we're all connected through these films. Certainly after, you know, recently of not being able to come together and really having a lot of these films, you know, and, and catching up on these movies. And, and so the Chucky fan base really seems to be special in a way, you know. We're I, fucking devoted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so did you then write that wrong and go back and watch all seven? Yes. Okay, I have seen right. actually no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Being, being honest. <laughs> I am gonna be completely <laughs> honest with you. Yeah, like, I, shit, there's seven of them. <laughs> I, I have not seen Bride and I haven't seen the remake. I know. How about this? How about this? When I get when I get home back to LA, I will watch Brian. Yes. Yes. Leave on Instagram. Yeah, I'm not gonna prove it. Seventeen. Yeah, you can watch that. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks. I mean, speaking of Brad, it well, is I would such speak a speak to your mother. I mean, you know, <laughs> Brad is such a fan favorite, and uh, it's so funny to be at convention. And that look is so iconic with the white dress yeah. and the like leather motorcycle jacket. But the fact that not only has everyone come back, but Joe Fertilli has come back in the series as well and seen that reunited. And I hope there's a lot more we can expect from season two, which just got announced. So congratulations. <laughs> seven films and then to transition into a series like this which has really kind of taken on a new personality for this franchise and just keeps going what was that like to transition from films into a series does it feel the same or is it different well you know I, like I've done series before yeah. and there's a big difference um, one great one but it's it's actually the same for me um, because Don Mancini writes the scripts right. and of course he writes for me yeah um, uh, so I mean, he knows me, and he and, and he and he knows how to write for me, and um, and that's one great thing about series is eventually once they get to know you, they write for you, yeah. um, which is really cool. I can't tell you how cool that is. And the second thing is is characters have to evolve. You can't like you know Chucky is like Chucky, and you could get away with it for a movie, but in a series, we got to know more about it. And there's. And uh, so it's really um, the series explores Chucky in 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 a kind of depth. That's why they had to. I was not capable of it completely, so they had to bring my daughter <laughs> in to really get into the meat and dip, dive way down deep. Um, and and that's a major difference. Yeah. That's a major difference. There's been some um, decisions made, as as we all here know that. Uh, that uh, Chucky is just uh, genetically wired to kill. Yeah. Um, that's that's who he is, um, and that's sort of a decision that was that was made for this. Um, we had to dig down into the epitome of the dwarf asshole. <laughs> Which you know, Usually. as in my experience, I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of my heroes, it's all, you're always the nicest guys, and couldn't be more opposite of, you know, <laughs> these yes. homicidal maniacs. <laughs> yes. yeah. um, but, uh, it, it, you know, it, it is interesting, because you go back and watch that first one, which is very self-contained, and it's, it's, uh, it's interesting, it's, it's to see the trajectory of this franchise, and the way it's evolved, and the humor has come in more, and the way it's become very culty, uh, in, in its kind of tone and... I think the most exciting thing in that line of, of, um, of observation is that um, horror has gone through a lot of different phases. And, um, I mean, the first phase when I was, was, uh, was a very uh, straight-ahead, serious, scary movie. Yeah. That was it. That was the Hammer films, those kind of things, Dracula, and they were trying to make really serious, scary movies. And then um, there was a, 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 a movie uh, called Dr. Fives. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> and that's a big Dr. Fives thing. And I, you know, I suggest if you're really into horror that you see that because that was yeah. probably Vincent Price's 
was a genius in that thing. He was really, yeah. really incredible. But it was the first kind of camp-ish yeah, camp take camp. yeah. on, on murder to really, really, and it changed it. So, so when we first started, horror was camp. It had to be a little bit camp. But horror also has to be follow the main rule of uh, you need a monster. And a monster is something, someone, or something with whom you cannot negotiate. You know, if it comes after you, you are prey and you are dead. And it turns a living, breathing human being into a piece of meat. And those, he can be funny, but he's got to be that for yeah. us. Yeah. So that's the, that's the edge that you kind of have to, have to walk on. That's, that's something Don and I talk about all the time. Yes. It's like, Don, it might be getting a little funny here. And, um, he's like, he likes that, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and but he is scared of not of not doing it. When I did uh, the first movie, I was working on another film at the time, um, and I was out of town, and they got somebody else to voice the doll, and they loved it. They when they were doing it, they loved it. They were laughing and they thought it was great. They put it in front of an audience, and the audience hated it. <laughs> really? Who yeah, was the really. Who they first said it? I don't know the guy, and I wouldn't say oh, it. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but he wasn't. He wasn't scary. Yeah. The guy was not like you know. You could be, crack a joke, but you've got to really intend to yeah. take a make a living human, real person into something a piece of meat. Yeah. So, um, so that was. Um, I don't know why. Can, no, I, can I ask him a question? Do you please, mind? Oh, absolutely. Why? Please. Why? 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 Why do you think you can do that so convincingly? <laughs> I, also, I had very disobedient children. <laughs> <laughs> but really, why? Why do you think you you? Because I have, you know, I'm having the same typecasting. <laughs> I just wonder why you, how, why, why, have you ever reflected or figured out why people Look, see you that way? Look, it's my fault, you know, I think we're both genetically kind of edgy. <laughs> it's genetically. And, and I think, I mean, you know, I, think, I mean, Don called me up and said, you know, I got this girl that is going to be in this movie, this was a uh, girl. Don't tell this story again, I'll kill you. Anything that's, you know, it's, no, you have to tell it. Say more. I mean, <laughs> you leave for a couple minutes I and then come back. I'm so addicted sorry. to it. All right. So okay. So he said, he said, I, I, do you know any actresses who are kind of edgy? And I went, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said, my daughter, and actually, she's like really good. And he said, okay. And he had her in, took one look at her, and said, oh my. In fairness, that's not actually what happened, <laughs> but it's but it's a it's a it's a it's a nice it's a nice story. Well, that's what he told me. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hey, <laughs> we're, really we're working stuff out. <laughs> but no, you, you're you're right. I mean, the the camp line is so hard to walk because you don't want to go too campy because then people don't take it seriously. And then it changed again. With, uh, what was it? Scream where it, yeah. everything became self-referential. Right. Yeah. And what did he write? Bride of Chucky, yep. which is references, uh, which you know references um, uh, Bride of Frankenstein, right. yeah. and I mean he, it was such a good script, and he did it in such a cool and yeah. brilliant way. And then after that, I guess what it is, it's oh yeah, back to the the original, back to uh, you know, and I had done Halloween one, and Halloween two, which is a whole part of that movement, and um, and you know he does. Hires Fiona, and yeah. it goes back to the original, you know, s spooky. Yeah, got serious again. Got serious again. And now it's art house horror, but now I don't think we'll ever see a A twenty four art house horror version of Chucky. Now it's going into outrageous <laughs> and funny. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's let's take it to y'all. I'm sure you got a lot of great questions. Uh, yeah, right up front. Um, I don't know. Are you able to explain how Chucky can be in multiple people? Whoa. And both what? Multiple oh. people. Yeah, well, how do you, how do you how that? split? Yeah, how do you split it? How do you split it? Um, the great god Dambala has, has 
told me that he will swallow me whole if I divulge that secret. So that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite kill? My favorite kill? Yeah. I did. You know, I don't get to do the killing. I just do the. <laughs> But my favorite moment of like doing that kind of stuff was um, in the first one. Like there's an, a, a woman who gets off a who gets off an elevator, and, and Chucky's on the top, and you go up and you see, and and, and then there's a fuck you. Yeah. That actually was mad lib, and that was fun. I yeah. really. Uh, let's go here, right here. Hi. Who was your favorite victim? Who's your favorite victim? I have a different question to that one. Yeah, Fiona. you did terrible things to Junior. Well, that, that, that yeah, was all psychological. It was, I know, but then it ruined you. Well, you know, he was already, he was down in the dark. <laughs> uh, the other person who that would be here, Devin, is I did have fun with that. Yeah. That was very We can blame everything on Devin because he's not here. We have yeah. Watching him die. Oh, Isn't that cute? Oh, I really hate it. <laughs> um, that just about wipes all the movies. Wipes all the movies out. There's, you know, uh, um, he did Wise Blood, which is uh, which is one of my favorite books I've ever read. Um, Flannery O'Connor. And I tried tried to watch it, and I was like, I just, he just has the thorns. He's bleeding. It's so terrible. Um, I would say, you know, I have a pretty stock answer, but the one movie I can't see him in, it's like not my father, it's some other person, is One Flew the Cuckoo's yeah. Nest. Yes. Yes. You know, and it's, I think, one of the, the most honest, vulnerable performances yeah. ever done, mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. It's actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Wow. Yeah. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, yeah, let's go right here. Okay, um, I'd like to know, just like from me, from you guys' standpoint, um, which film was your favorite to like play in or act in? And then, uh, Tio, you can you can maybe tell us uh, which episode was, was your favorite. Mm -hmm. Is this your only film? <laughs> no, 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 it's only Chucky. They're talking about Chucky. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Chucky yeah, yeah. The world yeah. of Ch Chucky. Yeah, no. <laughs> you go for it. Um, oh. <laughs> Probably episode seven, because I got to kill Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! That's why Devin's not here. He's well, dead. It's been out for a while. If you haven't seen it, then that's whose fault is it really? Wait, how did you kill Devin again? What was the kill? I I grabbed him by the legs and uh, smashed him, uh, smashed him around. Yeah. Uh, God. Pop, what was your favorite movie that you did? A Child's Play. Yeah, yeah, like, like I already this, said the, it. No, no, the, not, not, no. The experience of doing it, as opposed to which one you liked I, outward the most. Well, I think the series was fun. Um, but um, um, I always, I always, um, <laughs> I did the first. What was uh, it, uh, it? Was episode? It was the uh, fifth movie or the fourth movie? Uh, Does anybody know? <laughs> We're on seven movies in a TV show. Seven movies in a TV seven show. show. What seven. So about? it had to have been the fourth. Yeah, it was fourth. The fourth was right. 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 Well, I up until then I was always in a studio by myself. You know, like a great big room with a thing and. Nobody was in there, and you know, people over the mic. Can you do that again, Brad? <laughs> and um, you know, it's just kind of. I did that for like would do that for like two and a half, three days, and um, and it's lonely. And, um, <laughs> and um, then um, I did uh, uh, the bride with Jennifer, 
and she, we, we had a lot of glass partitions and so forth. And we played, you know, because Jennifer's like incredible at um, ad libbing. Her comedic timing is just yeah, <laughs> and and, um, and so you know, I really had somebody to bounce off, and we let go. And some, I mean, a lot of that stuff in there uh, from Bride is just stuff we uh, we kind of came up yeah. with. And you guys have the best chemistry. <laughs> yeah. It was just so much fun, and it was such a release. And I, I and I did the second one, Seed. I did with her as well. Yeah. So um, that that was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I want to say the TV show, but we're all quarantined, so it was like Chucky Jail sort of. <laughs> <laughs> um, I maybe you had the deal is you were with you got to hang out with people. I was just like alone in a room when I wasn't working. Uh, but the TV show is real fun to make. I'm so glad you guys like it. <laughs> um, I would say uh, probably, probably Curse. Don Mancini, who I think I had met when I was a kid, but we really became friends when I was 30. Uh, it was, he's just like a, he's like a deviant. He's, <laughs> he's like a deviant, lovely, funny, great guy. I love him with my whole heart. Um, so it just felt like making something with a friend, and we giggle the whole time. We're like, it's like a kingdom. It's like he gets to like have this kingdom of a set where everybody listens to him. <laughs> um, so yeah, please keep liking them. Thank you guys. <laughs> I think it's another thing that makes Chucky special is having him as this kind of guiding hand. There aren't a lot of franchises that have had this consistency yeah. with someone like that, and, and there he, aren't a lot of people who are writing yeah. who understand yeah. what people. Want yeah. and are able to really make a, a script happen. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. It's clever. Let's go like all the way to the back. You're going to have to project. I see like a tiny hand back there. Tiny hands. A there you go. Yeah, there Hi. you go. Hi. <laughs> okay. How old is Chucky? Chucky? We've never had that question before. <laughs> Well, you know, Chucky is plastic. <laughs> so, you know, he, and, you know, he's, uh, so, you know, his bones don't, uh, you know, aren't, don't get sore, he doesn't lose cartilage, he has them. Something like that. Um, he has whatever. So, um, so he kind of doesn't age. And, you know. Wait, wait, how old was Charles when he became, when he went in? I don't know. Well, you gotta make it. How old were you? How old were you in Child's Play? I guess that would have been relative yeah. to how old Charles How old were you in 88? I was in 88. I was uh, 38. 38. So Chucky is 38 Chucky is years 30 old forever. Years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, that, right? is that makes it scary. <laughs> for I'm glad we figured that out. Thank you. It's canon now. Yeah. It's, it's ar somebody already updated the Wikipedia. <laughs> Turn old man boy. Um, man, there's so many hands. This is hard. You pick one. I don't know. You pick one. Well, and I no, we'll have Chucky pick one. Oh, Chucky, yeah. Can you see, Pop? Oh, God. <laughs> the, with the red face. Oh, Carrie? What's the most craziest fan experience you have? The craziest fan experience. Fan experience. Oh, these are good questions. What? Fan experience. experience. No, the kids have the the kids have the questions. Yeah. What's the craziest fan experience? We're only calling on kids from now on. <laughs> Are you? Uh, that wasn't just to me, guys. Uh, <laughs> they're probably here because this is your <laughs> early experience. <laughs> they're in the room. Um, I got. I mean, I have. One. <laughs> I have like a. Uh, I have. I have several times had had like very young, uh, like, girls in their 20s be like, hey, would you do me a favor? I can't get into your five. Would you hand this to him? And oh, no. They'll open it and it'll be like, I would like to have sex with you. Oh. <laughs> Not but to, like, my, you know, my father who's in his 70s, and I'm like, oh, God, do I, like, give it to him? <laughs> Of 
like, and they're all very sweet. It's not, don't worry, still proposition, he'll never say yes. But uh, there's a lot of like... I know, I, my head does get bigger, though. <laughs> there's a lot of like, I'd like him to sign my breast and I'll tattoo it. And I'm like, you just, you got to bring that to him. I have nothing to do. Yeah, so um, don't do that uh, today. And I'm sorry I answered that question to a little girl. I <laughs> I have to learn young to not act that way. <laughs> I got nothing. I mean, after that, I mean, it, it, I think it's just weird. Um, teenage girls making compilations of me murdering my father um, <laughs> makes me a little uncomfortable sometimes. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's pretty bad, actually. Uh, oh man. Um, uh, and there more kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go right from. <laughs> work obviously possesses Charles E. Ray as Charles E. Ray proper, but you do wonderful work as Nika Price proper. So, Poor Nika, I know. I know, and that's, that's where I was going to charge it. As a character who's been shaped by Chucky from in utero to now in a boxing Helena situation, <laughs> yeah. what are your thoughts on that character's evolution as to where she is from then to now. Yeah, so so in the second season, which I'm about to go and shoot, um, she, uh, Dawn switches sort of where emotionally she's coming from each installment, which is why I think these movies hold up, is there's actually a lot of, there's nothing really lazy about him, you know? <laughs> he's like, he really tries to, everything's very well thought out, he's got a good brain. So uh, she is gonna have an even, a, a, a different, she's had it fucking hard, man. God. Did you guys see the end of the series? When Don told me what he was doing, he was laughing. He like called me, he's like, we figured out the end, are you ready? <laughs> and that scene, when we shot it, was supposed to end the series, which I thought, um, you know, maybe I'm a narcissist, but I was like, I thought it was going to be better because it was so disturbing, but the studio thought it was too disturbing. <laughs> um, I did too. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, it's fun. Anyway, uh, so she's just had it hard, and um, now that she has no limbs at all, um, she's, uh, she, I can't tell you, I realize. I'm just blabbering. I can't tell you. But she's got, a, she's got, she's got a new turn on things. Watch it. I think it's really batshit crazy this year, too. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this very eager hand. Yes, right here. Yep, uh -huh. yeah, you. My friend's going to ask Brad about Death Machine and what that movie was. Death Machine. <laughs> What's Death Machine? Death Machine, De I will say, Death Machine, you know, some of you like me are the video store generation, yep. and you go through the the aisles of VHS tapes, and you pick movies based on covers alone, and yeah. some of those covers are burned in your brain. I don't think there's a cover that's more burned in my brain than Death Machine. <laughs> so just for that, thank you. I knew you had nothing to do with that. I had cover, nothing but. to do with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dad, talk to Mike. Hi, Mike. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what was Death Machine like? Well, it was um, hard work. <laughs> what was it? Death Machine was a um, about a genius uh, guy who has never been out of a, a, a of a lab. Um, he's kind of as a child he was a, a prodigy and genius, and he his whole life is in his head, and he gets he becomes crazy and maniacal and builds this horrible machine that kills people, and he commands it completely and. Um, uh, it could have really been something, I think. Wait, it so it's a machine. been really interesting, uh, uh, but it, it just, the, the machine <laughs> looked like a chicken. Poster. The machine looked like a chicken. Yeah, the machine looked like a, like a, like a mechanical chicken. And, you know, and, uh, it, it just didn't. Because I did. <laughs> they thought dreadlocks were good. I didn't care. You know, I could do dreadlocks. Is the, the guy was. Is the machine the dinosaur T Rex? Yeah, looking kind of chicken looking. Basically. 
And it, it just uh, ultimately, um, it ultimately, some people liked it, you know? I tried. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> no shame the Death Machine fans. Uh, yeah, right down here. Um, this one's for Fiona. Um, so you play both Mika and Chucky. Which one was your favorite to play as and why? I mean, it's always going to be Chucky because he has so much fun. <laughs> It's just, it's really fun, and then, and Nika just has it, she has it so hard. Did you watch the TV show? Did it scare you at all? No. I know, you got it scared. <laughs> How old were you when you first saw it? Um, the series or the movies? Any, any Chucky. Oh, really? <laughs> Look at Bob looking down. <laughs> How old were you when you first saw Chucky? Um, I think I was either eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight Question eight two, eight did your eight parents eight. show it to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yeah I um I don't get I get I get scared I'm like a I'm a chicken you know what I mean You're um, a but I'm, a, I'm a chicken but the deal is I'm a chicken from death too um, but I um but Chucky has a Chucky has a lot of fun I actually think that sometimes that's why people like him so much is because he's just having such a good time yeah. right Pop yep. Chucky loves his job. Chucky loves his job. <laughs> uh, yes, right here next to the camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously, Charles being an iconic character, Chucky being an iconic character, obviously in the series, did you see uh, like Michael Myers and Jason with their masks and everything? My question is to all of you, who do you think Chucky could kill? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. If Chucky had to face off against another iconic slasher. Yeah. I will preface this. We just got done with the Dream Warriors panel with Robert England, yeah. and he said he'd love to see Freddy versus Chucky. Yeah. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm gonna put that out there in the universe. I, that's been around for a long time. Yeah. That that setup. I um, Chucky is, you know, um, is a spirit in a doll, and um, <laughs> And that, that's, uh, that's, um, and, um, Freddy Cougar can go inside people's dreams, so, um, both of them are kind of, in a way, disembodied. And perfect came to jump in them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Like, does Chucky sleep? No. Thank you. Uh, Maybe Freddy would. Now I do. To, <laughs> now we're getting into, like, the, the. Uh, what is it? The robot stream of electric <laughs> seed. Now we're getting into that too. What Sorry. is consciousness? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think he should. I mean, I really like Robert England. We did the worst movie ever made together. Sorry, but um, it was really bad. So, uh, I would. I would. I would love to see Chucky. Chucky, Freddy. What do you think, Teo? Well, uh, assuming that Chucky can use utilize his full powers. He could create an army, and I think he could take a lot of a lot of the slasher killers. Because is there a limit on how many Chuckies he can like? Make? I hope you're not asking me. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's more rhetorical than you know. I uh, I want to go rogue. I'd love to see Chucky versus the cast of Toy Story. We got the Andy crossover. Yeah, so you guys remember it is when, kind of an evil thought, you know? The yeah. best part was when when the Chucky remake and Toy Story 4 were coming out at the same time. Right, yeah, yeah. That was the best time at the movies. But yeah. I wanted, that's my movie, I want to see that. I think that's a great idea, yeah. man. Alright, we got time for a couple more. Oh, this is so hard, there's so many. Uh, I feel like every person I don't call on is crushing hopes and dreams of their life. Okay, I see, like, you have, like, a hype person for your question. <laughs> Yes, all the way back there. What's your least favorite movie in the franchise? Ooh. Ouch. And that's the, that's the question we can't answer. Ouch. I mean, that's really? Well, yeah. it's kind of like a dick move to answer. I mean, everyone knows what the answer is. What is it? What's your answer? What's yours? No. <laughs> oh, wait, um, the remake. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. 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 Mark? Did you guys ever have any kind of discussion? I, I, I fucking kill him. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just um, no, I um, I you know I um. 
Um, I, uh, I, I, you know, I think it was, what was the one where poor old Chucky was kind of tortured in that factory? Two. 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 You know, but it was over after I did it three or four times. This was like went on for days. And I couldn't even talk afterwards. I had no voice. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Uh, and um, it was just, uh, it was a really, um, I didn't like it. Yeah. One not fun. Yeah. Second was actually my favorite. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Really Just you wait. I appreciate your commitment to the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think two is a lot of people's favorite because that is the one that went yeah. from Child's Play, which was as grounded as a movie like that can be, but then shifted it the tone into something more campy mm -hmm. uh, yeah. vibe. The, so, the relationship between Alex and, and Christine's character actually reminds me a lot of me and my sister. So I think oh. that's why oh. I love that number two. Yeah. Yeah. That's so sweet. Um, we have time for one more. I can't. I'm her about her. All right, there you go. There you go. The man himself. Blue hair. Very so, enthusiastic. The whole time while I was waiting, I wanted to ask you guys if you could please do the Chucky laugh, but you yes. naturally do that. I don't need to do it. I know. I won't have to try. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should. Why did I pick her? <laughs> Oh no, don't make me do this. <laughs> oh. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound like Yoda. That was terrible. That was, uh, that was a chicken from Death Machine. That was a chicken, yeah. No, no, I, was, I actually voiced the chicken from Death Machine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and before he does this, I have to introduce it as. Uh, he wouldn't do the, so my birthday is the day before Halloween, he would never do the Chucky laugh when all of my friends asked me, asked him for my whole life, right? Because uh, I think half the people who dated me in high school was because my dad was Chucky. Um, but he will do it on my birthday once. And now, right now. Sorry, you got roped into it. Asshole. This is so special. But if he does it, do you have to do it? Oh no, I do it all yes. the time! Yes! yes. yes. yes.